This lesson is on trimmed mean and it may help you with pages 28 to 33 of your measurement module. So first of all we should know when we actually use a trimmed mean. Um, so let's have a look at the data set uh, listed here. The numbers ranging from 2 and 8 tenths to 16 and 7 tenths. Well if we calculate the median and the mean of this set of data we'll see that the median actually works out to 3 and 5 tenths and the mean to 4 and 3 tenths. Now if you look look at all of the numbers and the range of where the mo majority of those numbers lie, you'll see that the median is actually a better measure of, measure of central tendency. It's more accurate um, than the mean is. The mean is very heavily influenced by this outlier, this 16 and 7 tenths. So it's a number that's way out of whack, if you will, uh, relative to all the other numbers. So when you have an outlier in your set of data, it can heavily influence your mean and that's when you want want to use a trimmed mean. So, for example, uh, if we want to calculate the trimmed mean of this set of data, let's calculate, we can calculate any percentage, but let's calculate a 5% trimmed mean. So, um, to do that, the first thing that we have to do is we have to answer what is 5% of the number of numbers that we have in our data set. So the uh, 15 in this case, if you count, there's 15 numbers uh, listed here in this data set. So that's where I'm getting the 15 from. So what is 5% of 15? So to do that, just a little review of dealing with percent, we need to convert our percent to a decimal. So percent means out of 100, that's five divided by 100, giving us zero decimal, zero five or five hundredths times our 15 and that will give us zero seventy five hundredths. Okay, so now um, our 75 hundredths, we want to round that to a whole number. Uh, so we consider that like 75 cents, so that is close to one, approximately one, which means we will take one number off the bottom of our data set and one number, sorry, right there, one number off the bottom of our data set and one number off the top. So we're taking our highest and our lowest number and we're getting rid of them. It's important to note that our numbers should be listed in order from smallest to largest when we go to do that. Um, so we're getting rid of the two and eight tenths and the 16 and seven tenths. And now I have listed once again the entire data set, but Again, now we're having 13 numbers in the list instead of 15 because we've gotten rid of those two. So now we'll calculate the trimmed mean. So what we're going to do then is just like we would for any mean, we're going to add those numbers together and this time we will divide by 13 because there's 13 numbers remaining in our data set. So we add these, divide by 13 and we now get the trimmed mean of 3 and 5 tenths and if you look back to uh, our old our old mean of 4 and 3 tenths we now have the median and the mean much much closer together uh, making it a more accurate reflection of our actual data set and that's how you calculate the trimmed mean